and Nathan is the court prophet to David. Uh, there are some prophets in the Bible who work for the king and a lot of other prophets in the Bible whose job it is to take on the king. So the idea in prophecy is not predicting the future. That's something that gets attributed to them, especially 100 years later, and you look back and you go, oh, that guy was right. He was a prophet, right? But the, excuse me, the idea of a prophet in ancient times was to be a countermeasure to the king. So when King David wanted to do something, he would consult his court prophet. King David's court prophet is Nathan. Okay. But other times, especially as, as after David's gone and other kings take control and weren't thought of as very good kings, other prophets arose to kind of hold the king in check. The, the role of the prophet in today's society, you could say, was played by Martin Luther King or played by Gandhi or played by uh, you know, wh whomever it might be. But the, the idea is, you know, I'd say one of the closest uh, similarities today is the press. The president uh, in, a, in, a dicta in a dictatorship or the, the premier or whatever can just do whatever he wants and he silences the press. He doesn't want any criticism, any opposition whatsoever. Okay? But in, in this country, in the United States, we have this pesky freedom of press, right? And the press, us, we scholars, citizens, uh, have, the, have the right, and I encourage you to do this, to challenge what is said from those in, in, in authority. We elected them, right? So we should be able to say, uh, you can't do that or we don't want you to do that. And that role in a monarchy was played by the prophets in ancient Israel. So time and again, you'll see the prophets who are railing against the king, railing against the monarchy, uh, because that's kind of the countermeasure in ancient Israel. There's the king who's being a good dictator, is hopefully being a good dictator, and there's the prophet who's outside of the court of the king uh, to kind of hold him in check. Nathan, however, is a court prophet. He works for David, but kind of serves in a similar fun, uh, capacity.